All right, so I'm going to be comparing Merlin and Voila to let you know which of these two tools are better. Now, both of these are Chrome extensions, so you could use these tools across the web. All right, now before I get started with my comparison, I want to let you know that um, over the past few months, I've been compiling this list of my top marketing tools that I love and use every single day. Now, there's tons of AppSumo deals on here, including tools that haven't been on AppSumo before. Um, really cool list. So if you want free access to this Notion spreadsheet, just click the link in my description and I'll send over this Notion spreadsheet to you completely free. Now, let's get started with my Merlin and Voila review and comparison. So, so you could use this tool across the web, including Gmail. All right. Now with Merlin, um, you have a few cool features. The first feature with Merlin is it adds this AI button right here. So when you click on it, you have the opportunity to um, create an email with AI. So instead of starting it from scratch yourself, you could um, have Merlin generate a draft email for you and you can copy it and paste it to your email just to quicken up your email writing process. You can also use the tool to reply to emails as well. So I have this email up. Now with Merlin, you can write your reply right here and click on generate and Merlin will um, write the thank you note. Okay, so it even included the subject and this is the email copy. You can insert it and then you can also follow up with another prompt. You can shorten it and so forth. One thing that I wish Merlin offered was your ability to move this pop-up, but you can't move it. So I'm trying to read this email, but I can't read it because this pop-up is right here. That's one thing that I wish could be updated. Now, when it comes to Voila, if you click on reply, the Voila icon is right here. So when you click on it, you can um, change your tone. And um, this is the prompt. So you can say, um, send a thank you note to him and you can choose your AI model and then um, your tone as well and then send it and let's see what it generates. Okay, so hey Daniel, and this is the email copy. Uh, you can copy and insert it like this. Okay, so really easy. Now you can move this around, which I love about Voila, so I could read what is in front of me. Okay? And then you can also um, update what it generates as well too. Like if you wanna shorten it, um, make it longer, you could do that. And so that's the email part. And with Merlin, there's also an icon right here. If you click on it, you can um, have Merlin generate an email reply like this as well. Okay, now you can also use it across other websites too. So I have this article right here. Now you can toggle Merlin. Okay, so you can toggle it by typing Control M in my Mac. And then on the right hand side, you can see the chat. Okay, so you can chat with Merlin um, however you want. Now you can have it access the web and you can also choose the AI model. Okay, so you could choose from a variety of large language models as you could see. Now with Voila, you only have access to ChatGPT 4.0, but with Merlin, you have access to Claude, uh, Gemini, Mistral, and of course, um, ChatGPT as well. So that's one of the really nice benefits of Merlin is your ability to choose your large language model. Now, one thing I don't like about Merlin is, you know, this um, slide out chat, it's nice, but at the same time, it blocks your view, right? You can't really see what's in front of you. Um, you can open a chat in a tab, but then it goes away from your uh, web page, all right? But with Voila, you can do Command M, and here it is, okay? So you can move this around, which is nice, and you can chat with uh, ChatGPT 4.0 um, in this uh, pop-up box right here. Now, what I really like is uh, you can highlight certain text and then to toggle, voila, I'm gonna toggle it. And then you can say, it says what to do with the selected text. I can say something like, and voila will shorten what I highlighted, all right? You can have it regenerate, you can read it out loud, copy it, share it, bookmark this chat, copy this and paste it elsewhere. You can also, you know, um, make it even shorter, hit enter, and 
voila, we'll make it shorter. And then if I hit spacebar, there's other prompts as well, like improve writing, fix grammar, make longer, and so forth. And you can also create your own prompts and save them in folders like what I have here. Like I do a lot of SEO work, so I have a prompt for SEO. And um, this is my prompt for SEO. So you can save prompts as well. Now with Merlin, it's a little bit different. So you can highlight it and then do control M and then it says here, your selected text. Now I can say, you know, um, rephrase, or I can say uh, shorten it, hit enter, and Merlin will shorten the text. Actually, no. Okay, so it actually didn't. It actually pulled from my previous chat. So not as intuitive as, voila, let me try again. Um, Control M. This is your selected text. You can say um, shorten the selected text. Okay, now it shortened the selected text. So I think you might need to edit the prompt and make it more specific and tell it to shorten the selected text. Okay, now you can save your prompt. You can attach uh, files as well, um, upload files, and have Merlin read your files and you can have it analyze it, summarize it, and chat with your files. So that's a feature that Voila does not have. Also, Merlin allows you to generate images, right? Now, Voila cannot generate images. Now, in terms of Voila, I'm gonna to toggle Voila on and I can click on this icon, use current page as context. Now the whole page is being used as context and I can say, um, since this is about courses, I can say list out the courses and let's see what it has. Okay, so here are the digital marketing courses listed in the text. All right, and you can see it's typing it all out right here. Okay, so very easy to summarize uh, web pages with voila. Now you could do this with Merlin as well. So I'm gonna toggle Merlin. So you could clear the chat just by clicking on Merlin here. So I cleared the chat and then you can say, chat with this web page okay so this is the link to the web page and i can say you know give me a summary and merlin will give me a summary of uh the web page and it's using chat gpt 4.0 and it does take a little while a little longer than voila but here you go okay so this is uh the list of all the courses personally i kind of like how voila formats the text all right uh, but that is how merlin does it so you can clear it. And again, you can chat with your documents. You can create chatbots, generate images, and there's also a code interpreter for Merlin. Now, uh, you can also use Merlin on Google search. Okay, so when you search for something, Merlin, this widget will show up here. And you can basically have Merlin um, Google for you. Okay, so for my search query, what's the best platform for email marketing? It, per it lists out the sources that it used, and this is what it generated. It even included images that it found on the web and some related questions. You can ask a follow-up. So I can say something like, what's the cheapest? And hit enter. And let's see what Merlin provides. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, so it says the cheapest web hosting services. Okay, so this is talking about web hosting, but I mean, I'm talking about email marketing platforms. So uh, not exactly accurate. Uh, let's see if I click on what are the key features. I can click on that. And uh, let's see. That's interesting. So uh, Merlin, I click on a related question. Okay, now it works. <laughs> so a little quirky in terms of the UI UX, I would say with Merlin. Okay, so here are the user-friendly platforms uh, for beginners. And it's listed out here. And you can also click onto the blog articles that Merlin uh, used to come up with this answer. Okay, now you can also use both tools on, their, on the website as well. So this is the Voila website, and you could view your chat history, view your preferences, and you can add custom actions. So you can add um, prompts that you create. Okay, so I can click on it, name it. This is the prompt category, which is a folder. Um, conversation style, AI model. You can add custom instructions, add a CSS selector. So if you use it to analyze um, a specific web pages, you can add CSS selectors from the web page to have it analyze. So really powerful actions. And you can also use their chat feature as well. Okay, so this is 
um, their chat. So let me refresh the page. So this is their chat, okay? So basically like ChatGPT, you can, you know, create, click on any of their suggested um, prompts here or ask it anything you want. What is, hit enter. And so voila, we'll generate an answer for you. And you can toggle this on to view your history, similar to ChatGPT. And also, I know I've been reading online that Voila has been neglected and there is no updates, but this is their changelog and they've been updating it quite a bit. You know, they just released templates for email responses. Um, you could use Voila on the web, which I've showed you. They've integrated ChatGPT 4.0 and so forth. So they have been updating uh, Voila every single month. Now, when it comes to Merlin chat, you could use Merlin chat on their website. So this is how the chat looks like. Um, I think it's much more um, feature rich than Voila. Okay. I can say something like, I can ask that. Okay. So as you can see, it is generating the answer and here you go. So this is the response. And if I click on web powered results, it processed all of these links here to generate the perfect response for me. So I really like how Merlin does use websites in real time to generate a response. Now I'm gonna go back. You can also chat with documents. You can also chat with bots as well. So prompt scientists, article brainstormer, and so forth. You can upload files and images. You can choose a bot. Okay, and you can create your own bots as well. You can choose a prompt that you've saved. You can save your prompt use Merlin magic, which basically will decide on which large language model to choose. So Merlin will choose the best model with web access for your needs. You can again, toggle live search on or off. Uh, right now it is using ChatGPT 4.0, but you can manually select your AI model right here. And also if you click on explore, you can check out their professional bots and you can also check out some prompts that the community has created. So I really like this explore tab. Uh, this is actually new. So you have a list of bots and prompts that you can explore, but Voila unfortunately does not uh, have that. It's much more simple. Now what Voila has that Merlin does not have is their desktop app. So I can toggle the Voila desktop app. So this is the desktop app, okay? So it's exactly like the Chrome extension, but you could use it when you are on Microsoft Word or doing anything on your computer. So you have full access to ChatGPT 4.0 on your desktop. And these are all of the folders with various prompts that Voila has or that I've created. Okay, so I kind of misspoke earlier because Voila does have a list of prompts that you can use. Same with Merlin. Merlin has a list of prompts that you can use. Um, and also Voila as well has a list of prompts that you can use. But honestly, I kind of like how uh, Voila lists out their prompts here. Um, Merlin, you kind of have to go through the sidebar, click on see more and just browse like this. I think the UI UX for uh, Voila is just much easier for me and I use Voila every single day. Okay. Now, one thing is I haven't been using Merlin as much as Voila. Um, I just love how Voila, you could move this around. Um, you can toggle it on or off very, very quickly. And I love that feature for Voila. And also one thing to note is that both tools do have their um, mobile apps. So you could use Merlin and Voila with your phone. Okay. So that's great features for both tools. Okay, now if you're interested in getting Merlin, you have a few days left. Um, it does start at $69 for a lifetime deal on AppSumo. And I do have tier one. Okay, I think that's enough for me. It does provide you with 5,000 credits. But if you get tier two or tier three, it increases your credits per month. And you can also bring your own OpenAI API key. Okay, so you can choose between these three tiers. And these are all of the core features. So you can pause this, take a screenshot if you wish for future reference. Now, unfortunately, Voila is no longer on AppSumo, but Merlin is. And I do recommend getting Merlin if you do not have Voila because it's such a powerful tool that you can use across the web. And I really like how you can use Merlin with a variety of large 
language models, which Voila does not have. So really great feature of Merlin. Now I did add Merlin in my top marketing tools. I love Notion uh, spreadsheet, as you could see here. Now, again, if you want this spreadsheet for free, click the link in my description. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.